Uh, we're we're going to get started, started here. Does everyone know how to chat? You go down to the bottom and you choose to individual user and you just type in there, hello. And I think we're going to get started here. People come late, they come late. Can everybody see the slide? day. Rainy day here in New York. Good day and welcome everyone. So I'm doing a lecture today for those of you that are interested in the possibility of coming to New York City. I'm actually doing a live class in New York. This is something that I've never done before. It's a one-time event and so I thought I would do a lecture today, talk about what I do a little bit, talk about some things that I will review and some trades we've done, but pretty much just answer any questions that you have about the live class. So before we get started and I go through the presentation, do you have any questions? I know Sabina, you are already signed up, you're coming. Um, I see a few other people here. Philip, I think you should come. I definitely think you should come, Philip, um, and renew your subscriptions. Plus, I think you're from New York, aren't you? I think, I think he's saying from New York. Uh, so if you have questions, you can write it in the room. And if you think of anything as we go along, you can also write it in the room. And again, I normally do my classes online, but I am doing a live class because I think it makes it beneficial for people that struggle learning online, have problems focusing, and also want to ask me questions, meet me face to face. And it's going to be a great experience. It's going to be a wonderful, fabulous place, and it's going to be really an amazing one-time, um, lifetime experience for people that are coming. So I'm excited. And the class is September 20th, 21st, and 22nd. So those are the dates of the class. So it's a little bit more than a month away, but it's going to be here before you know it. I mean, I just cannot even believe that next week we're halfway through August and I feel like this year is just flying by. Like, I feel like a couple days ago, I just said, oh, we just got through July 4th and now in another month and a half, the summer will be over. It'll be Labor Day. I mean, this year, 2024 has flown by. Part of it is it's been an active year with the election cycle. Part of it is it's been a very busy year trading. You know, the days go fast and quick when you're trading and you're making money and you're just when you love what you do. When you love what you do, you're not staring at the clock and looking at the clock all the time wondering, what am I done with my job? I used to have a job like that, you know, when I was a teller and it was the times where it was so slow and I would be like, when is four o'clock and we were done and the bank would close. And I loved actually the busy days, social security days when people came in to cash their checks. I liked the busy days. When I was a teller, the slow days, I was looking at my clock all the time. And, and with training, training, I feel like, boo, it just goes so fast. And even the week, even the week, I think, goes fast anymore. So if you have questions about the live class or training or gaps or anything, you can plop into the room and just ask me as we go along. So this is me. I think everybody knows me. I've been trading for a long, long time now, since... 2008, and, and I, I do appear on TV, I appear on Fox News and every other channel, channel talking about the stock market, talking about, about the economy, sometimes, sometimes talking about politics as it relates to the economy. And again, we're in this election cycle, which is going to be very interesting because I think the market could have some wild moves in this election cycle like it has not had in the past. And why? Because of the fact that, uh, you know, we have a new candidate out of nowhere. And because, again, 2020 was was an interesting election cycle. And we have interest rates. We have the economy. We have the stuff going on overseas. Uh, the threat of war. So there's many reasons why the market, I think, is going to have volatility this summer. If you're interested in more information, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can call me at 929 gap you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. Of course, Twitter is now X. I think it will always be Twitter to me. <laughs> you know, actually, uh, hard to get in the habit of saying X. Like, Twitter just kind of rolls off the tongue. Anyways, the other reason I'm doing a live class is because training is real. It is a real job. If this is something you want to do full-time or even part-time, 
It, it is, is a real job. job. It, it is something you can do. It is something you can do and make money. It's not impossible. You can learn it. And you can do it. And again, you should take it seriously. Now, while the, the class is actually not going to be downtown in Wall Street, it's, it's interesting, interesting to note that there are many people that work in the finance sector in New York City. Um, a lot of people are remote, but people still go to the offices. But there's as many offices actually in Midtown as there is downtown um, in the finance world anymore. So years ago, it used to be Wall Street. Of course, you could go downtown, you could take pictures of Wall Street. It's a spot where a lot of people go to take a picture of the front of the bull and bear and the Wall Street sign. But you don't have to live in New York City or... Uh, work on Wall Street um, in order to actually trade. So that's one of the benefits because, again, you can be anywhere in the world and trade the stock market, which is actually exciting and a good thing. It makes it available for anybody anywhere. So like I was saying, this is real. It's really something you can do. I have a trader that she did sign up for the class. Jennifer T., she signed up for the class uh, last week. And we had a few really big trades. There were options. I'm going to talk about two in this lecture that I called Friday. Uh, that gap and the market gap down, they were puts on Monday. And she made $9,600 from Friday to Monday. So she almost paid for the class, basically almost paid for the class in one day of trades. So she had already decided to sign up before uh, before the, I called the trades because she got the subscriptions and she got the trades, but huge win for her. And again, coming to meet me in New York City and seeing me live face to face and learning from me and looking in my eye and asking me questions is you're going to get a lot better experience out of that than me talking to you online like I'm talking to you right now. So again, getting back to what I do and the whole crux of what I do is you have to have an edge to be successful. You need to do something different. For the most of 2024, up until the last few weeks, the market's been running up, the market's been bullish. People were buying every dip, people were making money going long. We did go along some things this year, and sometimes went along the market this year, but I pretty much did not engage in the market rally for the most of this year. I felt that the market uh, was going to break off, I didn't know when, you never know. Uh, so I have made a living and a success and since I started trading in 2008 and created a whole system based on shorting um, because most traders prefer to go long and that will always be the case. But I mean, the specifics of shorting, how I short, what I short, why I short things is very, very um, advantageous because most people do not know how to short or are not good at shorting. And again, they don't focus on shorting. So again, shorting is something that I've created for myself where I have made a niche in it. And again, again, that, that is, is what you will come and learn from me. So knowing what to do with the market, what's happening, trades specifically, how to trade the market is extremely important, especially in today's markets. If you think that buying the dip is going to work the rest of 2024, you're mistaken. It's not. Okay, It's already not the last three weeks. But again, the market did rally today, did rally yesterday. And we'll see where we go from here. This is a chart of the SPY. Again, Again, you can, can see how bullish the market was. was. This is June. I think it's just even running, running up to the halfway point through July. Okay? We made brand new all time highs in the market actually here. That was, feels like a long time ago, not quite a month ago. It was about three weeks ago now. But again, knowing what to do is extremely important in any market, but especially in today's markets. The whole point is you want to make money. You don't want to lose. And so again, that means you need a system and a strategy to trade. And again, this is what I'm going to teach in the live class in New York. And if you want to be successful, then you have to think like a professional. You must have a reason to take the trades. You must have a reason to take the trades to risk the money, okay? This is not something that you should be doing haphazardly like you are playing some kind of computer game or whatever. The whole purpose and idea of trading is to get really good at something and you only need to do really then one trade a day and then you add the size. You can flop on the size to it. So anyways, like I was saying, we shorted the market, we got the market move, and what happened with the market, well, again, the market's been selling off, we were shorting, the market, was falling okay so the momentum was and has been you know before the last 
today, I'm not talking about today, the last few weeks, to the downside. So when I'm trading, I'm looking for momentum. This gives me an edge, and it will give you an edge. Momentum trading is one of the most profitable and fastest ways to make money trading. Learn how to take a position of stock in anticipation that the stock will have an explosive move, and these enormous moves happen, really, in one direction, and they can happen very fast. So again, what do I mean by fast? Could happen from 4 o'clock Eastern time to the next day 9.30. Could happen in one hour, in half an hour. Could happen very quickly, okay? Momentum trading is very profitable, and that is how you can make big money in the market. Now, I was referring to Jennifer T, the specific trader who uh, had a really good 24 hours. She, one of the trades she did was a put option that I had sent on Friday, and which she's Theoretically, still could be in, but you, I don't know why you would want to be. But on Friday at 8.59, I sent out the options newsletter to buy the QQQ 445 puts. It expired this Friday. So this was a good trade. So let's take a look at the chart. So this was Friday was here. So I called the 445s. So the four, it was not trading at 445 yet. I called this in the pre-market, okay? So here was the Qs. Okay, the QQQs and the ETF market. And again, theoretically, you could have got this into a drop Friday, but you weren't up that much. So I'm trying to get a bigger move in my option trades overnight. Did I know this would do what it did Monday when I went to bed Friday night? No. But again, I knew that the momentum was down and it would fall. Again, I was very happy when what? I got up in the morning and this was under 425 So this was $20 in money through the strike on the morning of Monday, August 5th. And that was all the profit, okay? So the cost of the option wasn't cheap. These market puts have been a little pricey, but still totally fine. $5 for one contract, 18 contracts, which is a band trade risk of 9,000, sold at 20. This was not the high of the option chain. I could have actually got out of the better position. I was waiting to see what would happen with the market. Profit was 27,000, it was a 300% return on investment. Now, what if you cannot risk this much if you want to do two contracts? Two contracts for risk $1,000, you could have made three grand. That's a huge amount of money to make. Taking a trade on Friday, exiting on a Monday, and again, if you have five grand in an account or 10 grand in an account, you could certainly take this trade, and then you would have made, if you had $10,000 in an account, you would have made 30% of your account in one day. This was doing it on Friday and Exit on Monday. Monday. And, and again, this was a really good call. Now, I'm just going to go back here and show you the market. This, again, at one point this morning, it lifted over 445, but this morning, that trade was actually still up. Not there would be no reason for you to not get out of it, but I just want to show you here today that was in the money, still $10 plus in money this morning when it opened. So it was a really good call. But this is the momentum happening here. This is all the profit, and you must book money. The point of training is to book money. Not, not to take, take it and wait it and hold it forever and ever and ever and ever, 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 unless the trade hasn't gone yet. Okay, but, but that, that trade went, went fairly quickly. Could have won Friday. Friday. Then again, we're talking about the Friday trains. We also did the spy. We did the 535 puts that expire on the 9th. Okay, here was this trade. So again, 535s. It was right at the money. Open drop. This was Friday. Then it closed. You gap down here. This is another as above. Um, right around 512, I think, or 513 or something like that. I forget where we opened. That was huge. Absolutely, absolutely huge. Again, more than $20 in the money through the strike, in the morning, in the gap, on the open on Monday. So you just get out. That's it. Boom. So again, this cost were 50. 20 contracts was a risk of 9,000. Sold at 22, just a huge trade. This was bigger than the Qs because it was down more. A 389% return on investment. And what's the benefit of doing options? You, oh, you can trade options with a cash account. You don't need a margin account. So if you risk a thousand, you can only lose a thousand if it doesn't work. Because it doesn't have to do with margin at all. And the profit here was 35,000 for an advanced trader risk. For a beginner risk of three contracts for 1350, again, you can take less. You can take one. You can take more. You can take more than I've been taking. Profit was 5250. This is huge. To have a small account and be able to take 1350 and make 5250 in one day in 24 hours is huge. For anyone that has a small account, this is how you can grow a small account into a larger account. It's very important to be active to understand what's going on here. And again, how did I know to do it? 
because I used my system, used my strategy where I rated the gap. So this is what you're going to come learn from me. You're going to come and learn from me how to spot and look for institutional money. What is institutional money in the market or in stocks? It's big, big money, money, big footprints that come in, that come in and actually buy stocks or to sell stocks or to short stocks. Okay, in the case of the market and the Qs and the SPY, uh, they got dumped. They got sold off. And there were some short, but pretty much sold off. Okay, it was panic. So again, institutional money is very powerful. So I'm looking every day for the right pick to find that money so that I can trade on the right side of it. Because if you trade on the side of institutional money, it'll be so much easier for you to make money rather than taking a trade and making five cents, two cents, or again, doing something like penny stocks. I don't trade penny stocks, okay? We're trading all big stocks names that you know. But when I say institutional money, I'm, again, I mean big, big money market. Big money that comes in and, and again, buy stocks and sell stocks. So I'm always looking for who is in charge. This isn't even overall the trend or anything like that. This is who is in charge today when I want to take the trade and I want to make money. The bulls or the bears. So again, in the day that I wanted to make money, we did puts. A put is a short. Okay. So basically, I'm saying that the people in control on that particular day when I shorted the market were the bears. Again, this is a chart of the spy. Okay. So, so again, again, we did the trade here, gap down here. So again, if you want to make money on a regular basis, all right, if you want to day trade for a career, this is something you want to do, you have to take it seriously. And again, part of the reason I'm doing live classes is because I want people to take it seriously and I want people to learn. You will do so much better risking your own money in trades, which you have to do in order to profit, I mean, the money, you can know what to do. If you don't put the trade on, you're not going to make any money. You have to understand it, and you will trade better and be able to risk more if you understand it. And you need more winners than losers. That's just it, okay? I don't get every trade that I take does not work. Okay, lately it seems like I'm on a, I'm on a roll here, but the fact is I do take trades that lose sometimes, and I do use stops, and there's a reason for that. And trading is about odds because you're looking for high odds every time that you're doing a trade. So I'm following the moves that institutional money makes to the market. Then I'm capturing those moves in a small time frame and a small period of time daily. Okay, so when I'm talking about shorting, and again, going back to the market, you know, the benefits of shorting are panic happens fast, stocks and the market can fall very quickly, okay? And again, many people don't know how to short or aren't good at shorting. So if you become an expert in it, you're going to have an edge over other traders who don't know how to do it. Some people don't even have their account set up to short at all. Okay. So, you know, it's one of these things that there's an overwhelming amount of benefits to trading and also shorting. But specifically, when something falls, it can have a very large move as well. And again, the bigger the move, the more money you can make in the same position. There's no downside to that, okay? So you could take a small one contract or two contracts in some of those options and make thousands and thousands of dollars if you get a big move, which is exactly what happened, okay? So again, it's not always about taking lots of sides. You have money you have and you have to risk it and be thoughtful about what you have to risk. Uh, this was another one we did. Again, MGM, this was a short. So what are you going to learn in live class? You learn how to short. MGM closed here, gap down, open, drop. You shorted it, got the drop. Again, this is panic. This is selling. Stack closed up here night before around 43 and change. Open here in the morning around 39 something. And again, for whatever the reason, the reason, I don't care. It sold off like a hot cake. It got dumped. And, and you, you can, can see, see the tremendous panic that, that came in because it's, the stock fell, you know, three dollars on the day. Okay. Any, Any questions, questions here so far? far? Rudy, Rudy, I don't, don't think, think I've seen you before. Uh, and I'm, I'm not, not sure how to pronounce your name. I'm, I'm just going to say G N. G-N, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I don't know if you have any questions. 
or, or Sabina. Sabina. How's, How's everyone, everyone doing? doing? Hello! Is anyone there? Rudy, you, you look, look new. new. Are, Are you, you trading? Do you have another new person? Any questions, let me know. I'm going to keep talking. So we need to good, keep, keep on teaching. Rudy will reach, reach out later. Well, I'm here right now if you have questions. If you can ask me now if you want to ask me something. Um, okay, getting back to institutional money in the market and stocks. Okay, so a big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market. Stocks creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. When you are looking for institutional money, you're really on really the side of the power of stock. You want to be on the side of the power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. At all times, okay? Even when you think it's not, it is. And again, that is the caveat many times with people when they're trading where they misread something and get it in the wrong direction. So it is... 100% about that institutional money. That is my main focus, what I want to trade with, because then it doesn't take a lot of pushing and huge size. If I stock, stock wants to drop a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, whether a thousand shares or two thousand shares, again, I'm not moving the stock. The institutional money is moving the stock. I'm just riding the coattails of it. Becoming a successful trader and investor requires becoming a specialist in defining where the institutions are buying or selling the stock. Learning advanced technical, technical analysis is required. What, what does this mean? Reading price action in charts. charts. And, and that's, that's what I do. That's how I make my picks of what I want to trade. That's how I determine the market direction. Comprehending how to redefine and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. Elevate yourself, your trading, and your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. So again, we're talking, we're talking about the live class. One of the benefits of being in the live class is I'm going to have printed out charts for people to sit and look at and write on with me as I'm lecturing and have the slides up and have my charts up and you have your charts and print it out. When I was creating my own system, I was constantly printing out charts, writing on them, drawing on them. And that's going to be really good for people, again, to touch and look at the charts and draw on them with a ruler and do all of those things, that kind of stuff helps you figure it out. Where is this going? Where are the targets? Where is the resistance? Where is the support? So many times I think when people are trading, they're doing it with the computer and they're, do, 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 they're pressing the buttons and it's almost like gambling. I'm not a, I'm not a gambler and I don't do all my gambling, but I know a lot of people do and then they kind of act like trading is like that. And trading is not like that. Trading is not online gambling. It is something that you have to be thoughtful with, just like if you were going into a, a, a job every day, dressed up in a suit, like I said, like if you were going to Wall Street. Sabina has signed up for the New York class already. How can we prepare for the class? Get a good night's sleep. Have all of your self situated with all your travel plans so you're not stressed. And that's it. Just bring your brain. If you learn how to read the footprints of big position players before the momentum occurs, you can take the position in the right direction and get out after the move happens for profit. But you have to understand how to trade with the side of power, and you need to know how to find it. It's very important to find it because this power has the ability to pay you. Actually, the market has the ability to pay you. So knowing how to read what institutional money looks like is essential to becoming a successful trader. You can win big trading on the side of power. So how do I do this? In gas. So what is a gap? A stock, stock gap, the opening price, price today, is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. Again, how do I find the gap on the daily chart? So again, this is technical analysis. It's advanced technical analysis, and this is what I do. And this is what you're going to learn from me. It's how do I know that something's going to go down or up or whatever. Again, we're focusing on shorts. This is a class on shorting, but here is Amazon. So, so this was, okay, okay we're going, going back to August 1st. So what, what is a gap? A gap is due to the closing the open. Amazon closed here, gap down. Closed here, one price opened at a lower price, fell. 
Okay, okay. So, so we, we shorted, shorted Amazon, Amazon actually, actually on, on this particular day, was August 2nd. So on August 1st, it closed at one price, and on August 2nd, it opened at another price, and the price was lower. Okay. And again, this is something that fell off a planet. And I'm going to show you we did a day trade in this as well. We also did a put in this as well. But again, this is 4 o'clock, and this is 9.30 in the morning. And there, poof. Oh, oh, here it is. Here, here I do the trading trade here. here. So, so this was 8 2. So this was Friday. Okay, Friday was August 2nd. We shorted this as a day trade. This ended up going all the way down almost to 160. I didn't hold it till there. I thought it was a good exit, but and it was a good exit, but it, it kept going. So entry was 166.15. Shares was 2500. Risk was 36.25. Exit was 164.30. Profit was $4,625. This was a little crazy because actually I thought I had a good exit on it, which is really funny, and it kept going. So again, here, this whole thing, if I actually got out of it before this came over again, but I just want to show you, take it to the right, over here. See this? This, this almost, almost got to 160. 160. So I could have made another, like, almost $4 in it, which, which would have been insane. But I trade in the morning. This is a day trade. This is a one-minute chart. If you want to trade with me, you would get the trade. You would short it. You would do the trade in the line room. When I call it, and I'm saying 15, you do it at 15. You take the quantity you want. Again, you determine how many contracts you want to take or shares. In, in this case, case. And, and then I, I say we're well, getting out, but actually, if you held this longer, you would have made more money. money. Uh, Rudy, can you send me an email? I don't have any of your information. If you want to email me, I can email you after the lecture. Um, so anyways, in the live trading room, I call the entry and the stop. Okay, I call the entry and the stop. And again, if you held this, you, you would have made more. But, but this was a gap. Let's take a look at it again. This is the one minute. Closed here, gap down. Boom. Okay. So, so golden gaps have a huge opportunity because they spot power money. They spot power money. And again, this is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Because, again, if you trade on the side of power money, then you're going to make money so much easier. And if you're against it, you're going to lose. There's only one thing, one thing only that can move the direction of a stock, and it's money. Not a little bit of money, but a lot of money. What do I call power money? Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction. Trends are set and move by the power money people. And guess what? There's a lot of them in the market. There's a ton of them in the market. So gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. However, some gaps are better than others. Some gaps are nothing gaps, and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. The most important gaps in the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or a bigger move in the same direction, which is very interesting. Again, we had that in Amazon when we had the, the Monday move down too. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you to know what to do and when the change is occurring. Because again, nothing goes straight down forever and nothing goes straight up forever either. People, there's a misconception of that with the market because it was rallying is so strong this year and made so many highs, but that is done. That is how you know when the current money will flow to pay you. And again, you have to be aware of that change. Um, as far as you're talking about the day trades, Rudy, if you're in a live room, I'm calling the entry to stop at the exit. Yes, you got to be there. you got to be there live. Again, what is a day trade? A day trade is you have a margin account that you have to set up for the broker by yourself. Wherever you go, you can go retail, you can go prop. Okay? You, are, you have to short it when I call it out, and you have to put the stop in. And again, the stop is a limit order stop. So, so it's a hard stop. stop. I call it a hard stop, stop. but basically, if, if it hits you, you'll be stopped out, you'll lose. And then if you want to get out, you get out with me. Now, some people get out before me. Uh, some people hold it a little bit more. That's your decision. But if you want to follow me in the room to the letter, you can where I call it. And again, this is all in time. We take the trades between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. Okay? So you, you got to be... Ready in the morning, you have to be there. Boom. Like, situated, ready to go. Room opens at 9 a.m. Cut off time to enter room is 9.20. You gotta be there on time. We sometimes are in lickety split. You gotta be organized. You gotta know what we're watching. You gotta have it in the queue. 
Oh, oh Gianni. Gianni. Okay. okay. Very, Very good. good. I, I did not know how to pronounce your name. In, in addition, addition to the main course, course, you offer the trans course and combination. Yes, it's called, called the Golden Gap Combo. Um, how much does the training room cost per year? The training room per year is, first of all, the training room is a prerequisite. Or the, the Golden Gap course is prerequisite to join the room. So everybody in the room has done the class because we talked about proprietary information. So you can't join the room separate. But, but if, if you, you do the class and decide that you want to be in the room um, and stay in the room, um, the room is $4,999 a year. That is for the live trading room. When you make a quick decision to sell to close your position, do you use maybe averages, MACD, or other indicators on your chart? No. My, my exits, if that's what you're asking me, first of all, the MACD, things and all that, I don't use any of that stuff. Um, as, as far as decisions that I make on exiting have nothing to do with moving averages or any indicators. I'm looking at the price. I'm looking at the price. Um, and in fact, let me just pull this up really quickly. I don't know, does this carry over? Can you see MGM? Did it come out without me resetting it? Can, Can you see, see MGM? MGM? Again, how, how could, could you? I don't want to get too off point here because I want to go, go back, back and finish, finish the lecture. lecture. We did this here. There is no indicators anywhere. So, uh, no, I didn't use any indicators for anything with that because there isn't any. They're nowhere near anything at all. Look, it's, it's in La La Land. Land. <laughs> Basically. So again, again you're, you're reading the gap and the numbers on the chart, okay, which you have to have up. Yes, you, you have, have to have, have you have to have candlesticks. So like this the in, the candlesticks are my indicators, to be honest with you. A Japanese candlestick is an indicator. So this closed here the night before at 42.97 and opened in the morning at 40.05. So that's what I'm looking at. There's no indicators anywhere near this bar. And we took it and we did it and we played it and we got in and we got out. And I actually wished I had held that actually and <laughs> seen where that went. But again, I have a very, you know, regimented focus for the room when I'm trading in the morning. I like to be in and out of the trades fast. I don't always hold everything to the lows in a short. Um, I think it's easier to hold a, an option uh, than a day trade. But, you know, you can hold stuff if you want to. Anyways, you need a foundation to trade. You need an infrastructure for every entry, and it's a strategy, which is the gap. The strategy is a core reason behind why you're even watching the stock in the first place, or even contemplating an entry to trade in it at all. An entry in a stock should not be taken unless the trade has a foundation supporting it. And the foundation for me is gaps. So again, I'm reviewing. And again, this is what I'm going to go over in the live class. A stock gaps when the opening price to debt it's different from the closing price of the previous day's trading. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. Am I predicting the gap is going to occur? Like on Friday, did I know that the market would tank on Monday morning and the gap down? No, I didn't. I did not know that. I knew that it was lower, okay? I didn't know we'd open, you know, a thousand points down or whatever. There was news that came out Friday night. It was after hours. The market was already closed. It was well after four o'clock. It was about um war over in the uh middle east and i thought to myself we probably are going to be down then monday morning and i didn't know for sure it's saturday sunday then the futures were down sunday night a lot and then i knew no matter when monday hit we were going to still be down but then we were down more monday than we were sunday night with the futures so i don't trade the futures but i do look at the futures so again, here's this MGM. So again, there's no indicators around this at all. It's just hanging in, you know, air. Stock closed here, gap down, open, dropped, boom. And again, we didn't do a put in this and I, I wish that I had. Now, what if you're a beginner? If you're brand new, never did this before in your life, you have no clue what you're doing. Again, you can practice on a demo before you trade love money. I suggest that for you. Sabina, you would ask me for a referral. I sent you that earlier before we started today. You can get on a demo there, practice, practice, practice. It's free. 
Um, you could do that now, this week, before the class, actually. You could just get in a demo and start practicing trades. And again, we're doing things so quickly that I think that that's important because again, you don't want to fat finger something when you mean to go short it and then you go long because it's a fat finger mistake. You don't want to do that. So I've taught people that have never traded or ever looked at charts or ever did anything at all. And again, everyone has a different learning curve. Some people have terrible, terrible bad habits. And even though they might be trading longer than I'm alive, they have awful habits. So then they have to unlearn things that we're doing that were wrong. So there's no like hierarchy of, is it better to be a beginner? Is it better to be experienced? There's different people have different problems and different learning curves and everybody's different, okay? The bottom line is that anybody can learn it, anybody can do it. And again, I'm here to answer your questions. But again, the benefit of coming to New York and being face to face with me is you might think of questions you might not think of, you know, online. Because again, it's a real experience, like an actual classroom, like somebody's actually teaching in front of you and you're looking at me many times in the, in the, in, in, the, in even my room, you know, I say to people, do you, does anybody have any questions? Or even now, I'm like, do you have any questions? Some of you are asking questions, but you might not think of something that you might think of if I was sitting across the table from you right now. And again, it's, I'm very old fashioned, actually, when I even do my own trading process. I have a notebook, I have tons of notebooks, and I, have a pen and an old calculator and I figure stuff out like the more and I have my worksheets when you make it real for yourself then you're going to take it seriously and again if you're if you're not making it real for yourself you're going to act like the money isn't real and you're going to lose it and give it back and then have to refund your account and you're going to be all over the place okay this is like something that you should actually think of like a business and the more you do that the more successful you're going to be and again, how do you make money in the market? I've said this so many times, you have to use your brain. So there's no magic indicator or anything that's gonna tell you exactly where to get in, exactly where to get out, and exactly blah, blah, blah. If there was, nobody would ever lose and everybody would have that indicator or a combination of indicators. There was a man, this was, gosh, earlier in the year, he told me he had 50 indicators on his charts. So I thought to myself, oh my God, I, I needed an Excedrin just thinking about his chart. The guy can't even see the candlesticks. He couldn't make any decision at all. And so consequently, every decision that he's making will be late, wrong, or, you know, he, he, won't, he won't be able to make the decision, basically. It's like a jumble of nonsense. All you need to know is, is the stock going to drop or is it going to rally? If it's going to rally, you want to go long. If it's going to drop, you want to short it. And that's what you have to figure out. <laughs> and again, that is what I figure out. That's the whole process of the of the gap rating. So uh, we were talking about this in the trade room this morning, actually. Your brain is so powerful. You, you have habits. Those habits may be serving you for your future goals or not, okay? So I'm in, I'm a very habitual with my trading. This is what we were talking about in the trading room where I'm, when I'm calling the trades and doing it and just spitting it out when I'm speaking, which I, I talk fast and I trade fast, when I'm doing things, I'm, it's just habitual for me because I've been doing nothing but gaps for so long now, you know, since 2008, 16 years, going on 17, that I don't really think hard I, at all when I'm trading. Now, the thinking process, the rational, the reasoning, the logic, the process of the analytical stuff I do in the morning, I'm not in any trades then. So I do all the thinking before the market opens. But in the live day, I'm very habitual with what I do because I'm in the habit of shorting gaps for the last you know, 16 years. And many traders never get to the point where they actually train their brain to be in that point of the knowing, of the instinct, of the intuition, of the habit, because they're all over the place with everything they're doing. They're doing Bitcoin, they're doing futures, they're doing this, they're doing that, they're looking at all these indicators, they're buying the dip, they're doing gap fills, they're, they're doing 10 different strategies. They never train their brain to look at something and see something and just know it's going to do this. And I have. That is a huge, massive reason for my success. I understand the importance of the brain. I have a good brain. And I also am in a knowing with when I see something that I know this is going to happen. It's not like I even question it. I know it. And again, I go through the process. I rate the gap. I do everything that I teach in the class. But because I'm so habitual, do, 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 I, it happens very quickly and instinctively for me in the room in the morning. 
And again, that is the benefit of trading with me. That's the benefit of being in the room with me because I have all of that instinctually, intuitively that I know. And I say, this is gonna happen. Like on Monday morning, we didn't do a new market put. We got out of the ones we were in, we didn't do any new ones. Why? I said, the market's gonna lift and it did. Okay, so we didn't short the market again Monday morning, which was a good decision. So again, have it in the brain. It's like, you don't think about putting one foot in front of the other. You don't think about doing that. You don't think about probably even going out for a walk or any anything you do uh, when you go about your day, something that you're in a schedule for. You just do it, it's instinctual. It's so important to get your brain in that habit with trading. Why? Because you're going to be a lot less stressed. There's no getting away from the taking the risk, and you have to take the risk. And yes, we put the stops in. That's just being responsible. But the anxiety that people have, the overwhelming anxiety that people have trading because they're taking risk and they're losing money, and they've been losing money for umpteen years before they found me, how do you alleviate that? Start slow, take less size. But again, get into the habit of doing what you're doing. Because a lot of times people just overthink things, overanalyze them, and to the point where they're just frozen, you know? Any questions here? Gianni, I saw you came out, came back in. And it was like I was saying, chunk it, chunk it out. Take the trade, get the momentum, get out. Take the trade, get the sell off, short it, get out. Sometimes things keep going. MGM kept going. You know, lots of times things, Amazon kept going. We just, the idea is to book money as consistently as you can, not to get out of the best, 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 best possible place that you can. It's just to make money on a consistent basis. So what will you learn from me in the live class? You will learn how to rate the gap. That's what you're going to learn. So 26 points. And again, the benefit of coming to New York and doing this is you're going to learn in front of me in a huge screen that I'm going to have up a 68 inch screen where I'm going to be having the charts and teaching and you're going to have the printed out charts in front of you and you're, we're going to rate gaps together. And that's going to be huge for people. Cause again, you know, doing it online, it's just a different experience. And I think people will understand, you know, when they're, when they're trading and they're doing it and the ratings a lot better with the practice gaps. Oh, uh, we have a question here by Judy or Rudy. In the room, how often do I do shares and how often do I do options? Okay, the room, that's a good question. In the room, I'm only day trading. That's it, that's the room, boom. The options is the options newsletter. That is not in the room. That comes directly to your email, the options. So I might send an options trade out at seven o'clock in the morning. You're not doing that trade till after the open. And it may or may not be the same trade that we do in the day. Now we shorted Amazon as a day trade and I also did puts in Amazon, but the trade I called in the room was a trade on margin and every trade I do in the room is a day trade. The options and newsletters, you get the specifically, specifically go back. It looks like this because this is what they are and you get it to your email at whatever time, like this was sent early. You didn't do this trade at 9 a.m. I can't do this trade at 9 a.m. You're not doing this trade till after the open, but you're getting situated, you're getting ready. The room opens at nine, but we don't start trading till after the open, but you're organized. If you get this newsletter, you know, I like the SPY. The SPY is gonna sell off today. And then you say, okay, I'm gonna do the 535 puts today as an option and the expiration for eight, nine, and then you determine how many contracts you wanna do based on your risk. I might send that out like at 7 a.m. though. Like I said, I've sent it trades out way early before the open if I see something. In the room, we did not short the market Friday. We shorted Amazon. So sometimes I do the same thing. Sometimes I do different things. Sometimes I might do one day trade a day, which I usually do, maybe two. And I might do six options a day. So again, if the trades are there, it depends how many trades we're going to do. But it feels like lately, uh, we've been very active with everything, day trades and options, to be honest with you. But we've done more options recently. Like we did a bunch of options on Friday. I only did the one day trade. So again, you have to pace yourself because if you don't want to do five or six or seven options at the same time, 
Rudy, then then you're only doing one or two or whatever you want to do. Uh, we will go over that more in the class, Sabina, but for example, uh, you could just buy it or you could put an order in between the bid and the ask. So if it's five by 550, uh, you could just put out an order to buy the put at 525. So we're buying the puts and selling them to get out. We're buying calls and selling them to get out. So you don't have to pay the highest price if that's what you're asking. Unless it's you're like, I got to get in. It's an emergency. It's going to sell off like a hot cake. Uh, you could if you want to. Uh, once you learn how to find momentum, though, making money is not hard. It's just not hard. I mean, it's just about getting a focus. It's about getting one pick. One good pick is all you need. That's it. That's all you need. If you want to make money in the market, you need to think and act like a true professional. Getting back to what I was saying, getting organized, getting a notebook, getting a calculator, printing your charts out. Again, taking this seriously. This is true even if you're only trading part-time. The people that are signed up that are already coming to New York City to do the live class, they are very serious about their trading success. And again, they're already getting rewarded, like Jennifer T. She already basically paid for the class in one night. So again, she had made up her mind she wanted to do it. She was serious about it. Boom. You've got to take this serious if you want to do well. Otherwise, you're all over the place. And again, part of that is the focus. Remember, professional traders have specialized strategy systems and reasons for taking trades. So it's focusing on one strategy to be effective and efficient, and it's extremely important. So every day I'm looking for stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. Number two, a big move on the day, preferably, if we can get it. Early confirmation of my bias in the move between 9.30 and 10, and precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward. So I'm always trying to get a good risk to reward. What's that? One to one. If I'm risking 3,000 in a day trade, I want to make 3,000. If I'm risking eight or 9,000 in an option, I'm trying to make that. And I'm looking really to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the direction of bias for the gap. So all large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, particularly institutional traders. To make entry decisions, I'm looking again at the one minute, which again, I teach in the class. So we, we rate the gap on the daily when I'm entering on the one. That has a high degree of focus and accuracy. And using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick allows accuracy in the direction. I'm following the institutional money. Again, who's buying it? Who's selling it? Who's in charge? The bulls or the bears? But the one minute helps me for the Dane trades to get the risk to reward that I want. And then, of course, I'm putting the stop in. And again, I teach in the class where I put the stop, but it's very important when you're trading to put in the stop. In my opinion, if you're day trading a margin, something can go against you and you don't want it to go against you too quick that you can't exit. Even if you, it's not an imaginary stop, it's a real stop. It's a limit order stop. And if it hits, you'll get out. We're doing stocks that you know, they're companies you know, they all have volume. You're going to get filled in. You're going to get filled out. We're not doing low float stocks or, or, or stocks that don't have any volume, like I said. Um, there is no recordings and no recordings are allowed, Gianni. So you have to be there live. And that's whether it's online or whether it's coming here in person. If you have questions, you can always email me or call me, um, or talk to me in the room after the class. If you're like, I don't remember this, I don't understand this. Can you go over it? So I'm always here for you to ask questions. Like again, basically if you're in the room every day, I'm there every day. Um, what else? But I'm, I'm, I gotta be honest with you. I mean, I'm a pretty good teacher. Like, I mean, you're gonna get it. You just don't know what to look for. So again, once you learn what to look for, you're like, oh, boom, there it is. So it's knowing what to look for. It's not like, this isn't brain surgery. You know, you're not, you know, you know, doing heart surgery in somebody or brain surgery in somebody or, an organ transplant. This is, you just, so many people trade and they don't know what to look for. They're doing the wrong things. They are shorting stocks when they should be going long them. And they are buying stocks or the market when they shouldn't be buying them and they should be short. And it's really, to be honest with you, honestly, as simple as that. So it's, it's that people don't know what to look for. They're looking at the wrong things. Or we were talking about, they're, they're focusing on indicators that aren't going to help them. And actually could hurt them because it could confuse them and confuse the situation. But I, I, I think I'm a pretty good teacher. I think, I think you're going to get it. But you can always ask me questions. You can always call me. Sabina has called me already. She didn't even do the class yet. 
Success requires a 26 point checklist. What should I do? And this helps you like get the conviction to do it. The 26 point golden gap rating system helps you pick which stock to trade each day. It pinpoints ahead of time which stock will have the move of the day with volatility to trade. Having a checklist keeps you organized and focused. And with all the stuff in the world and on TV and everything, you need that focus. Turn off the TV when you're trading. No one should be listening to anyone except for me in the room in the trading. And that's why I also have the chat closed off. You should be focused on what I'm saying. I'm the leader. I'm in charge. Everything else block out for the half an hour, an hour a day that we're trading. You'll do a heck of a lot better. Having a checklist forces you to look at what you should be looking at in a chart and a stock to make the correct decision. Having a checklist helps assist you with directional bias. And having a checklist keeps you on track to reach your goals. And again, we're going to do practice gaps in the live class. And I think this is really going to be, help people. But a checklist is a plan of action. Everyone that puts money into the market should have a plan of action and a checklist. On a professional level, all high income field specialists have checklists. You wouldn't go and get on board a plane and have the pilot take off and they wouldn't go through a checklist. That would be insane. That person would get fired. There could be an accident, a crash. On a professional level, all high income career field specialists have checklists. So again, let's go over gaps. Gaps are created with large institutional money. That is what makes the gap in the first place. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. Whether you do it as an option or a day trade is up to you. I like to do both. But gaps are an event and create a sense of urgency. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Again, the panic. Thus, an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading the side of power money. And that's how you're going to make money. And again, while we sometimes go long, okay, we sometimes do, I still use looking at bullish gaps to determine whether or not I want to short and we did go long. This is the one thing we went long here. This was GE and it worked. Stock close here gapped up. And this this was a nice a nice uh, a call. It was the only call we've done for weeks, but it worked. It had the lift. Now, there was tons of things that we did to the downside. Tons of tons of things. Again, this is just a nice chart here in MGM where this fell, fell off a planet. Again, on that particular day, fell $4. So again, this is institutional control is to the downside. It's the bears are in control of MGM and the bulls were in control of GE. Uh, so you don't need to study all kinds of charts or indicators before the class, no. If you wanna read up about candlesticks, that's fine too. If you wanna set your charts up like mine, you can. Again, you can get on that demo and get everything organized if you wanna do that ahead of time, Sabina. Practice. That's fine. Anyways, I know some of you are asking questions about the class. You know, I don't know how much experience some of you have. I think some of you are trading, but you don't want to waste time trading without getting anywhere. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, Jurgen, I don't think you've asked any questions and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right, but I have seen you follow me for quite some time, JR. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right either. JR, are you there? I don't know if you have any questions. I saw you come in late. I think that if this really is something you want to do, you know, you know it. You're the only one that knows if you really want to do it. If you are in denial that you really want to do it, that's a different thing. A lot of times people say they want to do it, they start doing it, they don't do well, they lose money. That's the normal path that people have. They don't have the right strategy. And then they want to pretend that they're really good, not interested in doing it, but they're still trading here and there, going to webinars. Just get real with yourself and say, no, I really want to do it. This is something that I've always had as a dream. I really want to do it. I want to get serious about it. And I'm just going to do it. You know, life goes too fast. If you have dreams, you should pursue them. So getting to the point of realizing that the market can bring you financial freedom takes learning how to trade properly. And again, knowing what to do and when to do it counts. Having the right information to know what to look for makes a world of difference in your trading. Following me in the room is helpful. I have a support system for people, which is a room. That's great. But you're going to learn in the class how to do it yourself, so you don't need me. You have to have the right knowledge and focus. How are you going to do that? Learn it from an expert. 
And I'm an expert in shorting them, but I'm also an expert in gaps. And, and like I said, time is just too precious to waste. I mean, to think that we're less than six months away from 2025 is almost crazy. I mean, again, I'm talking about the live class in New York in September. Before you know it, it's going to be September. It's really not that far away. So what will you learn in the Golden Gap course? The 26-point checklist. It tells you what to trade and what to look for each day. The Golden Gap course teaches a strategy and how to trade gaps. The course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to play the stock on the day, and the course teaches you chart analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And again, it's not about indicators because the fact is that if there was any one indicator that would told you what to do, it wouldn't work anyways because too many people would use it. And institutions that take positions on and off around what retail traders are doing, knowing that, wouldn't, wouldn't use it. So empower yourself today if you want to trade, if you want to do it. You can learn my method in the Golden Gap course. It's a complete system to use to trade. And again, the class is a full course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. So the class tuition for the live class in New York is $12,999. It is all day Friday, all day Saturday, and a half day Sunday, the 22nd, so that people can go back to work um, when they are done. Um, and again, you know, go back to work on Monday. If you sign up for this class, I'm offering the training room, the newsletter, and the market report with the live class, in which case you could start trading with us right now before the class, which some people have. I told you about Jennifer T. You sign up, pay, you're in the room, getting the trains. You know, you can start trading now. It's still earning season. Then you come to New York, then you do the live class in September, and then you're with us until the end of 2025. Steve, I just let you in, but we started at four o'clock, so we're almost done. But I did tape this lecture, Steve. If you want, I can email it to you. Um, and again, if you're interested in signing up for this, when the class is full, it's full. So it's a it's not a large space like like a big, you know, ballroom or something. It's a it's a it's a it's a classroom, and people will be at desks, and I and I have the. The, the screen where I'm going to have my charts up on a 68 screen. It's going to be a good experience for people. It's going to be a very personalized experience for people that come in a beautiful, fabulous place. But getting the support of the trades and everything through the end of 2025 is helpful. And again, some people have already started trading and making money with this. Any questions from anyone at all? Um, again, I just have a couple things from people that wrote a couple nice notes here. Um, any questions from anybody? You came in time, but the link in the last email did not work. Oh, gosh, I'll have to tell my assistant that. That is good to know. He does the emails, and I will have to tell him. We'll have to tell him, but thank you. But you made it. Any other questions from anybody? If anyone wants to email me, That is my email. If you have questions, you want to email me. If you want to sign up for the live class, email me. And today, today we did, just really quickly and pull this up here. Today we did CVX. I'll just show you what we did today here quick. Uh, and this was a nice little, little one here. We shorted CVX today. It's a little baby one. Um, took a while to go. This is oil, Chevron, and it worked. Well, that was today's. Listen, email me at melissathestockswish.com if you have questions. I'll talk to my assistant about the link. I don't want to happen, but you made it, JR. JR, email me if you have questions. Gianni, Rudy, and Steve, email me, and I'll send you the recording since you came in late. Wonderful. Excellent. You're welcome. <laughs>